Hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Seamus. It's Liam Neeson. Oh, Liam, how are you? I'm doing very well, considering unprecedented times and all that jazz. And I must say, I've been thinking about how much I admire you. Admire me? Absolutely. You have a succinct worldview, a prism through which you make sense of the cacophony of human events that perpetually surrounds us. Well, yeah, I mean, I suppose I do thank you. I mean, the nexus of politics and humor, you could say. Precisely. It's quite admirable. Every wise man should strive to obtain such a prism. My father was a mechanic, for example. To him, the world was an array of machines and systems that could be built, broken down, and then rebuilt again. Some men have religion. Some poor souls have only psychosis and self-delusion. Okay, okay. what's your point, Liam? Jimmy, I'm trying to define and refine my own prism. But it is difficult. (laughs) Nothing makes sense to me. These things that happen, I do not understand them. Uh, I see. But then I realized my prism, it's a special kind of prism, a camera lens. I understand the world cinematically. I make, thi- I make sense of things around me by pretending that they are scenes in a film. Uh, oh, yeah, but, but life isn't a movie, Liam. On the surface, it would appear so. Mm -hmm. For example, a dangerous and cruel populist with fascist tendency gets elected president. Rumors abound that he is a Russian asset. What nefarious plot is he about to be hatched? Is he going to blow up the Washington Monument? No, Liam, he doesn't have any plans, nefarious or not. He's just a con man. And the Russian thing, that was democratic nonsense. Exactly. The whole thing completely falls apart in the third act. COVID-19, a mysterious virus from China. What exactly are the symptoms? Nobody knows. What is the government hiding? Will this movie eventually feature zombies? It is the summer, after all. Liam, we know what the symptoms are and also how to prevent the spread. The government has just bungled its response, that's all. Also, zombies aren't real. Precisely my point. It's like they started filming before the principals were even off book. Very unprofessional, in my opinion. But finally, I saw something that made sense. What? What's that? A giant explosion. Liam! Yes! (laughs) Fucking awesome! (laughs) Did you see it? Did you see that video? (laughs) Liam, people died, buddy. Yes, but probably only extras. And it happened in Beirut, no less. Beirut, a city that we Westerners are programmed to associate with terrorism. A scary desert place where all the colors are muted for some reason. Boom! (laughs) Beirut is on the Mediterranean Sea and is a very cosmopolitan city. Ah, what a fantastic way to start a picture. Just up and running in the first five minutes. Ethan Hunt and the IMF have only 24 hours to clear their name. Was it terrorism or was it made to look like terrorism? I have a sneaking suspicion that we will be led to believe one thing in the second act. And then, ta-da! Plot twist in the final ten. It was the CIA, which has been infiltrated by Spectre. Liam, Liam, we don't know anything yet. They're saying it was a giant industrial accident. I, I I mean, sure, who knows, but we need to wait for the facts and reporting. (laughs) The hell we do, Jimmy Clovertoes! Not with this script. This one's a banger. Finally, something I can make sense of. I feel like I know this one. Yeah. I've seen it before. Yeah, the movies that Hollywood make, like the ones you star in, they give us a false sense that we can somehow intuit what is going on in the world, especially in the Middle East. Again, real life is not a movie, Liam. Jimmy, don't take this away from me, please. (laughs) Think of the sequels, the franchise possibilities here. This one will dominate in the Chinese market, generate billions in revenue. Okay, you're taking this analogy too far, Liam. We don't know what this explosion is about yet. There is no need to construct a fake action movie interpretation of this horrible event. You need a new prism, Liam. But I like this prism. (laughs) Try a prism where you use facts and logic to understand world events. How about that? 
biology. <laughs> I don't know if that's for me. I was never a big math and science guy, to be honest. No, Liam, not Scientology, not that. Tell you what, how about you just keep listening to our show? Subscribe on YouTube. We'll let you know what's going on. Fair enough, my old friend. I suppose there is enough of your wisdom to go around the Bally Shannon once or thrice, as the old reel goes. <laughs> Sounds good to me. But Jimmy. What? Did you see that video? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video.